White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki is Joe Biden's point person for dealing with the media. And today, she's dealing with me on Good Luck America. Here's our conversation about Olivia Rodrigo, Fox News, and the ongoing pandemic. Jen Psaki. Hi, Peter. Thanks for coming on Good Luck America. Great to be here. First thing I want to ask you, how was that Olivia Rodrigo visit, and did Biden even know who she was? <laughs> Biden definitely knew who she was after we told him who she was, and after his grandkids, I should say, told him who she was. First of all, she's a total pro. I am beyond honored and humbled to be here today to help spread the message about the importance of youth vaccination. We know we need to do a better job of reaching young people and making sure they know that they are not immune from the virus. They can get it, especially the Delta variant. It's transmissible. They can get really sick, and that we need to meet them where they are. And we can't be precious from the White House about the mechanisms or the tools we use. So having someone like Olivia Rodrigo here, who's so popular and so well known by a huge portion of the population that is eligible to be vaccinated, isn't vaccinated, it was great. On the topic of COVID, you guys in the last week specifically have been going hard at Facebook for not doing enough to remove misinformation. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. Why Facebook specifically? Have you guys talked to other platforms? It's not just Facebook. Every social media platform has a responsibility here, and they could all probably be doing more to crack down on misinformation. Also, it's not just social media platforms. It is also personalities on television. It is also elected officials, unfortunately. If anybody is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. The point is, none of us are innocent bystanders here. Just because you work at a social media platform or you're a member of the media, it doesn't mean that you don't have a responsibility to save lives. It is true, though, that because of their own success, I mean, a huge swath of the country gets their news from Facebook, gets information from Facebook. We're not trying to get into a battle du jour with Facebook. That's not our goal. Our goal is to make clear to the public and people who get information from Facebook, from YouTube, from Twitter, from a range of platforms, that you should really be clear-eyed about what the information is, what the source is, is it coming from medical doctors? Everybody has a responsibility. A big question I have is you worked for Obama, going back to his first campaign, worked for the State Department, left when Trump was in office, and now you're working for Biden. In those intervening Trump years, what have you noticed is the biggest shift in media? What's changed? You need to be able to speak through a range of formats in order to reach the public. That's your objective. That means doing a range of platforms that weren't even around 10, 15 years ago. The world's changing, but we haven't changed to accommodate to their needs. It also means doing a range of platforms that may not like the president, because you still need to reach the public where they are. A lot of people still watch Fox News. So great. Do they like the president or even like me? Most days, no. Uh, but that's okay. Our job is not only to talk to people who like us. I feel like at the end of the Obama administration, the point of view in the communications team was that there's no point in talking to Fox. And other Democrats kind of adopted that viewpoint that they're only going to lash Democrats. We don't need to deal with them. Here's the deal about Fox News executives. They're running a hate for profit scam. Why should a Democrat engage with Fox News? What's the point? Well, first, we don't do a lot of the personalities on Fox. Welcome to Joe Biden's America. Look, I would say that the president's number one goal still is beating the pandemic. Our objective is to put people back to work and we need to talk to Fox and Fox viewers in order to do that. Now, they are not waiting for the president, the vice president, me, other people from the administration to tell them what to do. Well, that was quite a loaded and inaccurate question. But they might listen to medical experts or some of our doctors, they might. There might be information that strikes them because it's so fact-based if we convey it to Fox that they may hear that. Please take COVID seriously. Enough people have died. And I think our view at this moment is we don't have to approve, we don't, of everything they do editorially, of everything their personalities say and do, but it is still a platform for us to communicate with the public. And, and frankly, the other piece of it is getting in a fight with Fox News at this point in time for the administration isn't particularly constructive. Coming off of an administration that completely destroyed trust in media, trust in institutions, that's not the fight we want to fight right now, right? We want to fight a fight about getting the pandemic under control and things that actually impact people's lives. Come back tomorrow for more of our interview with Jen Psaki.